It's music. You go on. I just. Oh. Uh, okay. I, I, I won't be long. I won't be long, Mr. Dewitt. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, as we wash up onto the beach of Battleship Bay, welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. My name is Ellison Cruz, and we are on the brink of death, um, so maybe let's go find some food to replenish our health. These guys seem to be having a fantastic time in the wet sand and nothing else. This area is kind of hilarious because you can just, like, go through people's picnic baskets and steal all See their food. Uh, blue skirt? No? Escort if you're looking to pass the time. I'm good. Hey, you see a young girl? Is this some kind of sales pitch? Because I'm not interested. <laughs> All right, there. Hey, Someone hey, get this man some chapstick. For a young girl wearing a white blouse, brown hair, blue eyes. Okay, just <laughs> I guess that doesn't warrant an answer, but I'm gonna go steal this guy's coffee. I'm gonna steal these kids' <laughs> lunch money, their allowance, and we're actually gonna start by grabbing a couple of collectibles because that's something we can grab, as well as these uh, sea salt peanuts, literally. So a couple of uh, <laughs> peanuts I found in the sand. Uh, there is a voxophone over here. I'm gonna grab it. Or I'm gonna listen to the hell out of it. The prophet may know how his own biography is going to end, but. I can scarcely fathom how I'm going to start it. I mean, other than the kids' stuff you get at the Hall of Heroes, anything prior to his baptism was. Fellas, in a girl around here? Blue skirt, dark hair? The Riverside. They'll call me a plagiarist, but I'm going to spend the first 30 pages regurgitating scripture. Alright, Ed Gaines. The first time I read your name, I thought it was Ed Gaines, but. <laughs> Yeah, these people are weird. I thought there was a sandwich I could eat here, but I'm sure we'll find enough food before the next hey, confrontation. We're looking for a young girl. <laughs> ah, who is it, brother? Wow, somebody signed this guy up for the uh, <laughs> for the thing, you know, the registry, maybe. All right. Yeah, this place feels very surreal, but another place where, ooh, interesting. Hearkening back to Bioshock 1, perhaps? Where that splicer was <laughs> carrying around that pistol in the baby carriage. Lots of things to explore, but make sure you grab this. And the wow, the audio just got really loud in my headphones for a second. Battleship Bay by William R. Foreman. Oh, yes. I think nothing changes. It's literally just this. So thank you. That will continue to be a sightseer, and we are gonna head down to the furnace room, eat some sardines, and uh, see what we can find in here. Probably nothing. Just a couple of uh, barrels. All I want is fair pay for an honest day's work. Don't we all? Ooh, nice. I'm gonna steal this man's allowance. Also, I'm just gonna steal everyone's allowances. They don't deserve it. All right, Silver Eagle. Nice. We are gonna be able to start spending some money here somewhat soon after our next encounter with enemies, but it's just a good thing to grab as much as we can. All right. Yeah. All right, yeah, coins in the cushion. Perfect. Still need to find a hundred more of those. How's it going, fellas? Nice little family outing. I don't think there's much else out here. You can look and see some more nefarious people back here. Maybe you and I should go for a walk along the shore. I'm not going on any walk with you. Your reputation is well established. But, okay, sure. Whatever whatever happens back here, I suppose, stays back here. <laughs> Machine gun ammo, though, in between the tents. No big deal. Just don't worry about it. Are my salts filled? No, they're not. They must have drained them. Hmm. So, not a whole lot more collectibles, but... Get him, ladies. It's a crime someone doesn't get him a nice set of trunks. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do I feel violated all of a sudden? Please don't objectify me. I'm, I'm okay with not having that on me. So, over here, we're not going to be able to move on because these people are going to be doing their uh, little workouts here. Someone's taking a picture. Yes, me too, please. Come on, mister. We're working here. <laughs> oh, gorgeous girl. Just a little gorgeous. Yeah, so they will block our path until we find Elizabeth. I'm going to marry you. I've oh. heard that before. You have to believe me. I don't love her anymore. <laughs> <sighs> 
All right, fine. I'm gonna steal some of your money over here. <laughs> it's probably where the wedding ring is. And uh, I guess I guess I'm just not gonna have any sandy sandwiches or anything. Although I'll drink this kid's soda <laughs> and uh, call it good. Okay, so we're fine. Let's go ahead and confront Elizabeth, who is dancing. She's hey, dancing. Hi, hi. You're doing a great job. Wonderful. Miss. Hey, Miss. Miss Elizabeth. Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. Twin. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? Well, how about Paris? Paris? How, I, I don't understand. How could we get there? That's where that airship's going, but if you want to stay and dance, we can... No, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go right now. It's hard to believe, but it's true, isn't it? smell that? I've never smelled anything like that before, have you? Beaches I know don't smell much like that. That's what the Vox Populi do. Stir up the patties and the Negroes. First it's labor unrest, then they're coming for you in your bed. Come, stop, should stomp them out. All of them cockroaches. All right, well, I don't know about you guys, that seems a little, a little racist. Do you know this artificial beach was built in only six months? And how do you know that? From one of the books I threw at you. They also search passing well for reading. Interesting. I actually did not know that this was an artificial beach. That's kind of cool. All right, well, let's use the turnstile and start making our way to the arcade. Mr. Dewitt, Comstock. I've read about him. They say he can see the future. Give a man a little power. He falls in all kinds of love with himself. I don't like this look. Do you dislike the look of the prophet or his gaze? Can we leave now? Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I didn't know you were even there in the first place, man. And you also strike me as someone who would probably cut my throat in my sleep if I wasn't careful, so I'm just gonna walk away. What? Excuse me. Oh, this is a mess. So you're gonna see kind of... Yes, very well healed. Thank you. So Elizabeth is going to be in kind of in our company for majority of the rest of the game, and if you know anything about this game, you'll know she basically serves a pretty significant portion of the of, of aiding you in your combat, so. Fall into the water did me no favors. I'll keep an eye out for something that might ease your pain. So starting off in battles, if you're running low on health, she will actually toss you health kits, and those will help you sort of survive in battle, which is definitely very useful in this difficulty but you amongst other things sometimes she doesn't do it at the right moments plus you have to be with an eye shot of her or eye shot eyesight of her otherwise she won't be able to throw it at you which makes sense but i don't know man what what doesn't make sense is this um this is weird <laughs> are you okay <laughs> uh nothing we can grab in here so let's move on and make a somewhat insignificant decision by heading back outside. Here we go. Brown's dark chocolate. Only a sixth of a cent. Oh no, it says so good. I was like, why are there there's so many zeros there? <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go and take that from you. There we go. Thank you, sir. I really needed that. And amongst other things, hold on. Anarchist loose in our fair city. Yes, that is me. Four foot nine mulatto. Excuse me? Or the cage. Or perhaps the bird. Nothing beats the cage. He's two again. How do you... Never mind. Look at these, they're amazing. Which one do you like more, this one or, or this? The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. I just can't decide. So this is one of those instances where you have a bit of a choice to make. It's not significant. It's just what you're going to be seeing Elizabeth well, wearing for the rest of the game. So, personally, I'm a fan of the bird. The one on the right. Are you sure? I'm sure. I love it. Surprising. I expected the cage. If you're going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. Now that's just sophistry. Oh my god. But wait. My god. It has to be. Look. Are you alright? It was my home. We should get out of here. Let's go. Oh, 
All right, so I guess we 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 can't look suspicious. We just gotta go through casually and ignore the catastrophe in front of us. But as everyone is going to be enamored with the destruction of the old statue. Why is there never a handyman around when you need one? What uh, I don't are they know. good for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, I didn't know you were gonna be that much of a bigot. All right. Well, nothing really else over here, so I think it's time for us to head inside of the arcade after I go and eat some cotton candy, have some pap, and steal someone's wallet. That's always a fun thing to do. Alright, let's go inside, Elizabeth. Now, this is a little weird. Uh, welcome to the arcade, where people are getting strip searched. Make sure you have a piece of photographic identification ready for presentation. Put those arms up now. Fingers apart. Legs apart. Stand still. Now hold steady. Uh, I ain't getting through there. I have just the thing. Come on. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, this we're gonna head over here and. Copper. Look at this one. He's suspicious, if you ask me. Uh, all right, all right. Quiet down there, Pete. The just go home and dry yourself. <laughs> go and dry yourself, wise guy. So, our first instance of a lock. Uh, damn things locked. But wait. What are you doing? You're a roguish type. What does it look like? Done. Where did you learn to pick locks? Trapped in a tower with nothing but books and spare time? <laughs> you would be surprised what I know. And uh, those wonders will never cease to amaze me. So there are going to be a lot of opportunities where Elizabeth will be able to pick some locks for you, but you need to find lock picks in order for her to do it. And in plot pertinent locks that need to be picked, she'll just use her hairpin. So with more than the slightest complexity, or they simply leave it in ruins for me. Oh, <laughs> hello, sir. Don't you pay me no never mind. Just some foolishness, you know. <laughs> just monkey shines. <laughs> Sure. Whatever you say there, pal. Also, you can tell people that I stole this. I, I, I hope they believe you if they wonder why it's all missing. But, uh, was there supposed to be a Vox phone in here? I thought there might have been one somewhat close, but eh, no big deal. Over here. Because it might be over here. Alright, so, oh, here we go. There might be something to bring you back to health. Very nice. That's probably a good idea. So every so often she will toss you coins and uh, sometimes the amount might actually surprise you, which is kind of funny, but we can't actually even get anything from this vending machine because we're continuing our tirade against the capitalist scum that is the dollar vending machine. So we're actually gonna run in here and here we go. There is another gear for us. This one, Deadly Lungers. Melee strike range increases by three times. Now that can actually be pretty good in conjunction with other things. Some of the builds that I've seen people build online with certain things uh, and different vigors will make your time going through this a lot easier, but I'm not really looking forward to killing anyone anymore with my bare hands. So we're not gonna do it quite yet, but we'll still take it anyways, because we can equip it later. And we've got Eagle Purses and a Voxaphone of one Daisy Fitzgerald. I'm sure some of your friends have attended meetings. Hello? Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Gary. When I first seen Columbia, that sky was the brightest, bluest sky that ever was. <laughs> Seemed like heaven. Then your eyes adjusted to the light, and you saw that sea of white faces looking hard back at you. Interesting. Daisy Fitzroy. Now, over here, we have a very familiar duo. How's it going? Hey. Hey, mister. We'd like to help you. Do I know you? Back at the lottery, you... Without you, we wouldn't have gotten away. Daisy always said somebody like you would come along. Right on, Andrew Bird. All right, let's go ahead and grab the gear. With, ooh, kill to live. Melee executions have 65% chance to give you health. All of this would have been so much more useful earlier on. Now, keep in mind that if you decided to throw the ball at the couple back at the raffle, that they uh, would not be here to thank you. Instead, you head into the mind amongst your, your manners, betters door, and uh, there'll be a guy there on... Uh, in, uh, I guess, representation of Fink Jeremiah. Jeremiah Fink, the guy 
who I threw the ball at, he would be there and he'd be like, oh, you're so savage. Uh, Mr. Fink sends his regards and he'll give you the gift. So again, there is not a lot of sort of penance for your decisions in this game. If you're just going to get, you know, rewarded either way, you're still fine. Plus, I don't think there's anything in these colored and Irish washrooms. This ain't no place for you, sir. You best be on your way or there's going to be trouble for us both. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll see about that. Huh. If you stay in a bathroom too long, Elizabeth will... <laughs> she'll be like, are you good? Do you want me to leave? <laughs> please, sir. Please. They find you here. Blame's going to fall on me. 